Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to do comprehension passage, that is the section A of CPSC sample paper, class 10, French 2022-23. This is the part 5 of the sample paper. After this video, we will be left with only the writing section, which will be discussed, of course, after this video. Right. So, comprehension passage of 10 marks. Of course, we are going to discuss all the questions in here. Right. Let's start reading. And also, I will be directly uh, adding the passage and the questions from the sample paper as well. Okay. Like I will be adding the questions which are there at the sample paper so that you can open the description and you can refer to the video and the questions side by side. Right. Also, need not to say, but I must say this, that the credit for the sample paper, of course, goes to CBSC and the teachers who have framed this sample paper. It's just that I am discussing the solution of the sample paper here, of the questions here. Right. So that you can get some help in knowing how to attempt the paper and how to find the answers in a comprehension, right. So, section A, comprehension, these marks, 10 marks, the question is question number 1, lisez le texte, regardez l'image, et ensuite, et ensuite, uh, répondez aux questions suivantes. So, read the text, look at the image, and then respond to the questions, following questions. So, the heading is, La génération y a davantage tendance à utiliser des ressources en ligne pour plani planifier ses voyages. So, the generation there is yet having the tendency to utilize the online resources for planning their trips. So, we can see a graph here, online and traditionnel. So, what about the people who are the ones who look online? Uh, 18 to 34 years old, okay. So they are like 35%, 26%, 16%, 10%. So there, there are different, different percentages of people given that how much proportion of people prefer to go to seek the compar comparison d'offre de voyage. Site com uh, sites where we have the comparison, comparison of what? Of the offers of the trip, right? So the best offer can be chosen. Then we have seat the review. See to the review, the review sites where the customers or the travelers are reviewing something, right? And there is another one, publication sur les médias sociaux pour obtenir des recommandations. So, publications on the social media uh, for obtaining some recommendations. And the traditional method being uh, for the ones, uh, like who are the ones who go for the traditional methods of planning for the trips? 35 and above. Okay, so they do catalog the voyage, they look at the catalogs, right, the trip catalogs, and then guide the voyage, the trip guides, right, most probably they mean uh, here travel agent, right, that's what I can interpret here. Anyways, so the source is also mentioned, it's HTTPS, uh, Tom, uh, full stop travel, le millennial français buscule le voyage traditionnel. So the source of the passage is already given here. That's good. Anyways, we are to start uh, reading the passage and knowing the meaning, isn't it? So we will discuss the entire meaning of the passage and then we will go to the questions. Fine. So the first sentence begins here. J'ai lu l'article Voyage et vivre et j'écris pour vous, pour vous dire ce que j'en pense. So I read an article. Voyager, c'est vivre. Traveling, it's to live. And I write for you to tell you or to speak, uh, to say to you about what I think. Cet article parle des jeunes qui partent après leurs études faire des voyages. So, this article talks about the youngsters or the youth, okay, who leave after their studies to do what? To do Trips to travel. Il raconte comment les jeunes adultes voyagent avec tous leurs vêtements dans un grand sac à dos. So he narrates how the young adults 
travel with all their clothes in a big backpack. Sakado backpack. Ces voyages durent souvent plusieurs mois car ils vont dans des pays très loin de chez eux. These trips are of the duration often uh, have the duration of few months, several months, because they go in the countries very far from their place. Selon l'article, c'est passionnant et enrichissant de vivre une vraie aventure quand on est jeune. According to the article, it is passionating and enriching to live in a, to live a true adventure when we are young. Là, je suis d'accord avec la journaliste, c'est bien une aventure. So there, I am uh, okay or I agree with the journalist, it's well, an adventure. On ne sait pas où on va se coucher la soir qui on va rencontrer. So we don't know where one is going to sleep in the evening. Whom we are going to meet. En plus, moreover, on doit apprendre à se sortir tout seul de situations difficiles et cela aide à devenir adulte et indépendant. So, moreover, one must uh, learn to move out all alone in situations of difficulties and uh, to help in becoming adult and independent. Of course, when someone travels alone, one develops these sort of skills, right? Mais à la fin de l'article, ce journaliste ajoute que ces voyages donnent toujours aux jeunes l'opportunité de rencontrer les gens d'autres cultures. So, but at the end of the article, the journalist added that these trips give always the youngsters the opportunity to meet the people of other cultures. Et c'est là, je pense, est faux. And about this, I think is false. Car en réalité, ces jeunes voyageurs ont très peur de contact avec les populations et le rencontre d'autres jeunes voyageurs comme eux, et reste la plupart du temps ensemble. So, as in reality, these youngsters, the, these young travelers, uh, have very less contact with the population of that country, right? They meet the other young travelers like them and uh, stay mostly together. Selon moi, le seul moyen de connaître les gens d'autres cultures, c'est de vivre avec eux et de travailler avec eux. So, according to me, the only objective or the only medium of knowing the people of different cultures, it is to live with them and to work with them, the writer being François. Let me just check whether the recording is taking place or not, because sometimes I think that the uh, recording is not taking place and I'm just uh, speaking good night. Recording is taking place, luckily. That's good. Anyways, now we have completed the passage portion. Now the main part comes, which is question uh, answering to the questions, right? That's the main thing here. We have understood the passage, right? We got the gist of it and now we are clear with what sort of questions can be asked. Question number one, so question number one is the comprehension passage, then the first part, first part having a sort of nomenclature this part. Okay, so it's 1A, 1B, fine. Question number one, A part, A parts, A part. Wow, sounded interesting. Répondez aux questions suivantes, subjective questions, you need to write full sentences, also don't forget to paraphrase the questions and such questions, paraphrase the question while writing such answers, right, répondez aux questions suivantes, de au choix, you need to attempt two, of course you will do all three, isn't it, so qu'en font beaucoup de jeunes après leurs études, so what do most of the, a lot of children do after their studies, a lot of youth, youngsters do after the studies, as for the text, they move out to travel, right, so that's what we are going to write here. Les jeunes 
path après leurs études comment faire des voyages B part being où est-ce que les jeunes mettent leurs vêtements Where do the youngsters keep their uh, clothes? They keep it in a big backpack, right? It's given in the passage. It's a direct question. Il met tout le vêtement. Dans un grand sac à dos. Easy. Si pas, selon l'image, nommé de de sens en ligne et utilisé par les jeunes de euh, 18 à 34 ans pour planifier leurs vacances. So, according to the image, name two resources, online resources utilized by the youth or the youngsters of 18 to 34 years of age for planning the vacation. So we have these three options. You can write any two. So you have these three, right? So of course you need to answer in full sentence. You can't just write words just like that. It's a subjective uh, answer. I know it's a bit long, but you need to write the full thing. The resource only in Utilisé, utilisé par les jeunes de 18 à 34 ans pour planifier leurs vacances. Ok, now paraphrasing is done. Vacances sont, colon, now write the answer. Let's see to the review. Et, le site de comparaison d'offre d'offre de voyage. Right, the sites in which you have the comparison of the offers and then you choose the best offer. Right. Now I guess we have all the sub, uh, objective ones. Objective questions are nice. We don't need to write much. Ha! Ah, only two questions. Question number one B and question number one C. Okay, both of them are having six six parts and both of them are of three marks. So these were like two marks each. You need to attempt two, so four marks in subjective and six marks in objective. First question being of three marks, each part getting half mark and the same goes for the next question, right? So question number one B is true and false. A part, selon l'image pour planifier le voyage, les jeunes de 18 à 34 ans utilisent seulement les médias sociaux. So according to the image, for planning their vacations or the trips, the youth or the youngsters of 18 to 34 years age use only social media. No, there are three more sources. One is social media, one is the comparison site and the site of review. So the statement is false. Four, F-A-U-X, four. Oh, wait. Question number one, B, part A, B, C, D, E, F. B, part. François écrit un, un, au journal pour raconter ses grands voyages. Did François write about uh, his, did he narrate about, okay, uh, they narrate their big trips? No. The writer is talking about uh, another article that he read and he is giving out his opinion, right? So, false. B part is also false. Four. C part we have. Les jeunes part pour un mois. The, young, uh, the youngsters leave for a month. No, they leave for several months. So, again, 
फॉल्स डी पार्ट आल्ले फ्राइ यून हावेन टू को ऑन ए जर्न सेट यून एक्सपीरियंस टू रीच गोइंग टू डू एन एडवेंचर इन वेन वन इज यंग इट इज अ वेरी रिच एक्सपीरियंस यस इट इज वे डेफिनेटली इट्स अ रिच एक्सपीरियंस सन ऑन द टेक्स्ट ले वोयाज डॉन लॉपोर्चुनिटी द वोयाज आवेक ले पारों अकॉर्डिंग टू द टेक्स्ट द ट्रिप्स गिव अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ट्रैवल विद पेरेंट्स नो दे आर ट्रैवलिंग ऑन देयर ओन राइट हेंस इट्स फॉल्स And the last one is on doit passer plus de temps avec les gens de pays pour mieux les connaître. One must pass a lot of time with the people of a country for uh, knowing them the best. Yes, vrai. Question number one, C part. We have two words on our text. We need to search on the text. Of course, more than one answers are possible, but you need to write only one thing. So, first one. Is uh, what? Hmm. You in conjunction. You need to search a conjunction. Where there are many conjunctions in here. I am writing a et. Et is a conjunction, right? And m a i s may, but that's also a conjunction. B part. In B part, we need to find an adjective. Young is an adjective, so in the passage, it's in this form. Right, in plural form, it's present. So C part, like you need to write, uh, you need to search from the text, right? So it's better that you write in the same form as it is present in the text. Uh, C part being the form verbal, the la dure. I could have written the infinitive, but it won't be written because in the passage, it's written in uh, conjugated form in third person plural. So that's what we are going to write here. D U R E N T. Dur. D part. We have not contrary the jamais. Jamais contrary is what toujours. Very easy. And do make sure that the in the question two we don't have text. You are searching from the text only. The synonym the pasca. Synonym is pasca. Oh, pasca synonym. Car, right? Because as car, and the last one, F part, la form nominal de finir, la fin, nom noun form of finir, la fin, right? With this, we complete the section A as well, right? Now we are left with only section B, and now one more small announcement that. For the next few weeks, I am going to have a lot of exams, right? Some of the other exams, be it college or entrances or etc. etc. Right. So the upload schedule, of course, will be disturbed. Okay, it will be getting disturbed, right? No doubt. But I will try my best that uh, within this month, within three four weeks, or within three weeks rather. This sample paper and class twelve sample paper is over. I will try my best. Okay, so you guys don't worry about it. Fine. So yeah, let's put a halt here. Say to you, Judy, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my new channel, Learn French with Anubhav. And if you have any doubts or suggestions, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn French with Anubhav. Okay, I said it. I said it a bit fast. Uh, let's slow it down. You can also like my Facebook page by the same name. Learn French with Anubhav. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. New Blair Park. La langue française et l'amour.